Do you want to spice up your YouTube thumbnails so they stand out in the search engine listings? In this video, I'm going to show you four ways to find great looking images to make your own YouTube thumbnails so you can get more views and subscribers. I'll also outline the pros and cons of each method. Stay tuned to the end of the video so you can download my free YouTube channel evaluation checklist. Hello, my name is Herman Drost from DrostDesigns.com. If you want to grow your audience on YouTube and generate traffic, leads, and subscribers on autopilot, hit the subscribe button or hit the bell notification icon. Here are four different options to find images for your YouTube thumbnails. Number one, screenshot images. This is where you take a screenshot of one of the frames in your video. If you have a PC, just hit the print screen key on your keyboard. If you have a Mac, just hit Shift Command 4. You can then crop your saved image by using the free online graphics editor, Pixlr. You can import the saved image into Canva to create your thumbnail. Click the card icon to watch my tutorial on how to create a clickable thumbnail using Canva. Pros, it's fast, easy, and doesn't require many skills. Cons, lack of sharpness, contains the background color of your video. Click the card icon to learn how to easily remove the background color of an image. Number two, shoot your own images. Taking a screenshot often doesn't produce a sharp enough image of your face for your thumbnail. When the image is reduced to 320 pixels, which is typically the size of a thumbnail, it may look blurry, fuzzy, and not so sharp. Therefore, if you're gonna shoot portrait photos, use a HD camera, such as the HD camera on your phone or a DSLR camera. Here are some tips for shooting portrait photos with your iPhone. Shoot in the best light. For indoor portraits, the best kind of light is the diffused light from windows. When you use a window, it produces a rich directional light with diffused colors that reflects whatever is in it. When shooting portraits outdoors, it's best to do it when the sun is low in the sky. This can be in the early morning or right before sunset. Another option is to shoot when there's overcast skies so you don't have to worry about the sun. Find a suitable setting. When shooting portrait photos, find interesting places to take them. Try to keep your setting simple and uncluttered so your subject is the main focus. Composing your shot. You don't need to center your subject in the photo when composing or framing your shot. Usually the portrait is more interesting if it's off to one side. Use the rule of thirds to position your subject off center. You can also frame your subject by using a natural frame such as a doorway or a window. If you're shooting outdoors, then look for a natural frame such as trees or bushes. Focus on the eyes. Make sure you focus on the eyes of the subject because this is the most expressive part of the face and is what viewers We'll focus on. When taking a portrait photo, it's best to shoot slightly above the eye line so that the eyes are wide and open. Experiment with shooting at different angles. Try to tell a story by using different angles for your portraits. For example, you could have the subject kneeling, standing, or even lying down. Add interest by using props. Sometimes a person has a stiff and a natural pose. If you use a prop, it helps draw out the natural expression of the person and conveys their personality. One way to do this is to try to get your subject to be interested in their surroundings so you get a more natural expression. Try different poses. Most portrait photos are posed, but try taking a few candid shots when the subject is not posing. Think about what you want your subject to be doing so it conveys some aspect of their personality. Pros of taking your own photos. There's no need to worry about copyright infringement. You have the flexibility of using your own images anytime you want. Cons, it takes more time to shoot your own images than to just take a screenshot of your video. You may have to take the time to remove the background color if you just want the portrait itself. Number three, free stock images. This is a quick and easy way to use images for YouTube thumbnails. Some of the free stock image sites include pixlr.com, unsplash.com, pixabay.com, and Google Images. Pros, all images are free. Live variety. Cons, not original. Some of these images could be used by many others on the net. Limited selection. Number four, Paid graphic sites. If you don't want to shoot your own photos or can't find a suitable free image, consider subscribing to an online graphic site such as graphicstock.com. Pros, large selection of royalty-free images. Easy to search and find a specific image related to the topic of your video. Download the image and keep it forever. Use it as B-roll in future videos. Cons, cost money. Not original, that means other people may be using the same images that you use. Now you know four different ways to find images that are suitable for your YouTube thumbnails. Let me ask you an important question. How do you find suitable images for your YouTube thumbnails? Post your answer in the comments below. I'd love to read them and others would too. Click the card icon to download my YouTube channel evaluation worksheet. You'll receive a step-by-step -step checklist that will help you evaluate your own YouTube channel. You'll also get links to specific YouTube tutorials 
to show you how to make the necessary improvements. If you want to learn how to grow your audience on YouTube and generate views and subscribers on autopilot, click the subscribe button below and check out the related videos. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.